Welcome again to Edu Skills, OED Made Easy. Our mission is to make you fall in love with OED. If you're watching this on YouTube, kindly consider subscribing to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like our work and please share the video to others so that we reach out to OED aspirants, especially those who are financially struggling to crack OED. And you can find the links of previous live Zoom sessions in the description below. Now contrast word-based question. So make sure here you have to be very careful about contrast expressions and contrast word-based questions, okay? There are two types. They sound similar, but they are different. Let's just listen. Now this is contrast word-based. Focus on the, what you have to focus? You have to focus on what is said after the contrast word. For example, however, but whereas, all those expressions, what the answer will be soon after the contrast word. So let's take uh, one question from part B. Yes, just listen. Okay, this is also a listening practice for you. Five. The passage suggests which of the following. Older people prefer physical examination symptoms in older people are not always typical. Physical examination is the way to gain additional history. Physical examination. Many individuals perceive a comprehensive physical examination to be an intrusive event that is best avoided if possible. However, for older people, in whom the typical presentations of lines may be subtle or unusual, a thorough physical examination is a cornerstone of assessment. The value of a thorough physical examination can be underestimated by healthcare professionals but may be highly regarded as a therapeutic benefit by patients. Talking to the patient during the examination is also a method of reassurance, while potentially gaining additional history and most of all, engendering trust. The key message is the value of a comprehensive, holistic and unrushed examination. The passage suggests which of the following. Okay, older people prefer physical examination. Symptoms in older people are not always typical. Physical examination is the way to gain additional history. So we are thinking of, about contrast word. Do you find a contrast word in the text somewhere? However. However. Yeah. However. However, yes. That's a contrast word. So where will be the answer? After, after the, the contrast, after the contrast, the contrast word. word. Yeah, just find whether there is an answer after the contrast word. Older. For older, older people, people. In whom mm. the typical person is like maybe. Maybe so typical of the unusual. Yeah. Line. Not all. A thorough physical examination is a cornerstone of the assessment. Yeah. The passage says the so which is the answer. Symptoms in older people are not always typical. This is called paraphrasing. For older people in whom the typical presentations of lines may be subtle or unusual. Not also always typical means not they are subtle or unusual. However, uh, uh, symptoms in older people are not always typical is the answer. We are not bothered about the answer here. We are not focusing on that. Just I want to, to make you understand there is, however, after the contrast word, normally answer happens. So here, the other aspect you can take the topic sentence is, what is the topic sentence? It says, many individuals perceive a comprehensive physical examination to be an intrusive event that is best avoided if possible. The topic sentence says, physical examination is to be avoided, not preferred by anyone. So definitely older people prefer physical examination cannot be right. Because the topics, it goes against the spirit and the taste and the color and the texture and the mood of the topic sentence. Physical examination is the way to gain additional history. Physical examination is the, the way, the way. Okay, what does it speak here? But an older people, it's not the way, means it is a general statement. Physical examination is the way to gain additional history means for all people. So here, while potentially gaining, see, the thing is here. Potentially, it's not sure, right? Potentially, probably, perhaps, might, may. So these are not probable things, not sure. But then here it says physical examination is the way, means definitely. So it is certain, definite in the third option, but in the uh, answer of uh, text it is ability, not sure. So you can know the opinion and the factual statement difference. So I just wanted to highlight only this contrast word in this particular session to tell you after the contrast word, focus on the portion so that you have the answer there. The symptoms in older people are not always typical for older people in whom the typical presentations of lines may be subtle or unusual. This is called uh, paraphrasing. That's why I said these expressions, this answer 
and the text uh, content in the text should be written down in a book in the initial stages of your practice and you have to gain that competency gradually now that was contrast word based question this is from again from b okay one more example from b just listen six before dispensing medicine nurses must contact the pharmacist be expected take written permission from the doctor c must have had additional training Role of the pharmacist The pharmacist is legally responsible for the supply and distribution of drugs in accordance with the law. However, in some cases, nurses who have had additional training may dispense medicines, if this is in line with the hospital policy and with the written instructions of a medical practitioner. The role of a pharmacist also includes that of being a resource person for medicine information, and they are responsible for checking that any newly prescribed medicine will not interact dangerously with or nullify any existing medication okay before dispensing medicine nurses must contact the pharmacist are expected to take written permission from the doctor must have had additional training is there a contrast word in the passage yes however however, however. however. Yes. yeah this uh, the focus of this session is just to focus on these things okay because if i explain everything you will not get that particular idea how to find the answers do you have the answer after that what comes after that? Nurse. 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 Medicine. Okay. So that is the answer. That's what you can look into these things and identify when you find in all the materials you will have this year, this type of uh, answers. So you are quite sure when you have come across uh, several, uh, several material with the same uh, strategy being used or the same type of questions being used, you are sure you have to immediately get into that particular word, contrast word. So which is the option? Nurses who have had additional training may dispense medicine. B. C is the C one. Uh, must have C, 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 additional C, training. C. C is the answer, Father. B. Because you who had additional, additional training, training. dispense medicines. Uh, C one is saying must have additional, additional training. training. Okay. Yes, father. No yes. other, others, others who have opted for B. Any arguments? No argument. No. This is in line with the hospital policy and with the written instruction of a medical C practitioner. C is the permission yes. from the doctor. Written is the instruction of a medical practitioner. If this is in line with the hospital policy and with the written instructions of a medical yes. practitioner, before dispensing medicine, nurses are expected. Again, there is one problem. What is the problem? However, in some mm -hmm. cases, it's mentioned, no? In some cases... No, no. Now, the, to at least there is one problem. Just listen to me when I read. Before dispensation, before dispensing medicine, nurses are expected to take written permission from the doctor. From the doctor. Is expected it grammatically to, correct? To take grammatically grammatically to wrong. Take. This, this is not there. This is not there. Two is not there. So it can never be a sentence. Grammatically wrong sentence. We have already seen. This is another example. Very fact, grammatically, and you read, you get it. Once you develop competency, don't worry now. As you go on practicing, beginners and all don't get confused. Before dispensing medicine, nurses are expected to take. You cannot say that. Expected to take. It is two is not there. Okay. I added it just now. That's not in the answer option. So this is grammatically incorrect. Error. Are you convinced? Yes, father. Yes, father. Yeah. Masters who have had additional training may dispense medicines. Nurses who have had means must. Already had, definitely. Who have had, that's why must has come there. Have had additional training may dispense medicines. This, I just wanted to see whether you will uh, identify this mistake here. So before dispensing medicine, nurses are expected to take right in. See, you cannot speak that way, no? are expected to take written permission and must contact the pharmacist. Do you need to read that? The role of pharmacist also includes, it's not there. It's not given, right? And they are responsible. They say about responsibility, nurses contacting pharmacist is not mentioned, right? First option, do they mention First it? First option is not mentioned, Father. The role of pharmacist is saying, but the nurses and the pharmacist relation is not mentioned there. So that is cool. So you have two strategies here. One is, Grammatically, a wrong option can be eliminated. Then you have other two options. You have to select from there. 
but they not go anywhere because you know there is a contrast word in the very beginning of the second sentence. So what you have to do soon after the contrast word, as I said, uh, again, one more additional tip I gave you, you can, whatever comes between commas, you can eliminate. You need not read. Yeah. However, nurses who have added it, just take a go reading, excluding those things. Is that clear? Yes, yes father. Yeah. Yes, father. Now, yes, father. From reading part C, contrast based questions, let's see. From reading part C. We'll listen again. Now, look for the contrast words. Okay. Nine. Which one of the following statement is not true? It is not the first time that researchers have issued warnings about alcohol and cancer. Alcohol consumption can cause cancer of the mouth, larynx, pharynx, esophagus, bowel and breast. There is evidence that alcohol consumption causes 22% of breast cancers in Australia. Tobacco and asbestos are less likely to cause cancer than consumption. Professor Ian Oliver, Cancer Council CEO, says the evidence shows that alcohol has a strong association with various cancers. The Cancer Council cites cancers of the mouth, larynx, voice box, pharynx, a section of the throat, esophagus, bowel, in men, and breast. And the relationship is definitely causative, Oliver says. Just as certain as for tobacco or asbestos. In particular, the strength of evidence linking... Okay, anyhow, we are not going to read the uh, whole passage because we have the contrast word. Just I wanted to show you the contrast words being used, okay? This is uh, contrast words. Uh, con the option says, answer option says less likely. Here it says certain. Contrast less likely. Answer option says tobacco asbestos are less likely to cause cancer than consumption. We have seen about the inaccuracy of uh, the grammar portion, portion here and the nature of the text is different. But then here, since it is what is not true is asked, the contrast expression, the answer option says, less likely means may not happen but in the text it says definitely as certain as so uh, less likely is contrast with as certain as and definitely so just once you have contrast words then again you can focus on those contrast words that's another way of uh, reaching the answer what i want to highlight here when you identify those contrast words you see most of the portion 70 percent of the par paragraph you need not read only if you have to revisit the questions to confirm the answers, you can go into the, uh, this, uh, you say, as I said, there is a percentage here, you can look into the percentage and read other things. So most of this portion of the paragraph need not be read. That's why he said you have to focus and be competent in the strategies. That's how you can defeat your greatest enemy, that is time. So you need to read only uh, this first portion. Immediately you can get into the answer. Okay, only if you have a doubt, you can again revisit it. So these are contrast words, uh, expressions, not the contrast words, okay? Contrast, uh, the after contrast word, you have the answer that says, these are the contrast expressions used. They are different. 